Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Restaurant Andre. Through the forest hand in hand, jumping over streams, talking about our dreams. We laugh, we smile, we dance. Would you give it one more chance? First of all, when you when you first come into the restaurant, you will first notice about the olive tree. Yeah. This is the olive tree that uh, we started uh, before the restaurant opened. So it's an olive tree that we bring in from south of France, okay. where where I started my uh, career. Mm -hmm. So that's why it has a very. I'm very attached to the the, the olive tree. I see. We both traveled together to Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> So now we show you a little bit of our uh, restaurant. So first, when you when you come into this area, I realize that uh, um, Bukit Paso, all the restaurant is uh, uh, all the building here is built between 1920s to 1930. So it's really an arty um, mm -hmm. an area, same as this building, okay. and it's a three-floor building. Mm -hmm. uh, we converted into a like a restaurant, but still keep it very personal. Mm. So here we only have two tables. So it's mm. a two chef table that you can overlook at the, the kitchen at the back mm. where you will see me cooking. So it's quite special. A lot of people, they specially book the table uh. here at the chef table because they can see a bit of action. So what attracted you about this place? It's very personal and intimate. Mm. In fact, uh, we really want the guests to feel that it's coming to Andre's house. Mm -hmm. It's not coming to a, a, another restaurant. Yeah. Now we walk into the second floor. Yeah. First you look and we have a little back terrace. So here again, very uh, uh, cozy. We didn't have uh, too much decoration, yeah, but it's a very personal terrace. Not, not so much uh, uh, like a restaurant look. And here you can see the third floor. Third floor is my office and my atelier. I see. Yeah. So where we kept all my collections, my collection of uh, uh, wines, and, uh, pottery, my sketch, painting, sculpture, um, all at the third floor. It's um, like kind of my private space. I see. And inside of the second floor, as you can see, it's all the small tables. Mm. So this floor, we cater for all like a two, three, four uh, table of guests. Yeah, so it's very different compared to the first floor. First floor, it's a little bit more actions and people with a bit more interaction with the uh, chefs in the kitchen and kind of like a live stadium. And this floor is more elegant because it was, um, it was a living room of the house. So it still create that the living room uh, look if you notice carefully, yeah. the tablecloth um, has a print of a tree bark. Ah, uh, yes. Right? Yes. So very faint, but you can tell. Yeah, it's, a tree, it's still like a tree bark. Yes, I'm very, yes. I, I like very much the, the natural yeah. element. So even the tablecloth, you know, it's, it's specially selected with something with the tree bark on it. Because downstairs we have a tree. Wood. Yeah. yeah tree on the table. So mm. second floor, a little bit more elegant, but you still have that tree uh, feeling. And sheep. Yes, <laughs> so that's very natural as well. So walking up to the third floor, uh, here is just some of my uh, accolades. So I don't know where to put all that, so I just put it uh, uh, all here. Yeah. So getting to the third floor, First thing you see will be uh, the the sculptures of a squid, and that's also I, I do it myself. Ah, yeah. Why squids? Uh, the reason that I I choose a squid is that it has a different um, form. It can show the different movement. Mm. It's not uh, like a lobsters or fish ah. that you you cannot really see the expression. But through the tentacles, you can see the, the different expression of, uh, of a squid, whether they are in a different uh, mood, that this one is more angry, and that one is like, smiling, 
You, know, you can see their, their, their expression. Well, Little Prince is one of my favorite books. And so I always have it have many different version of, uh, of Little Prince and also a lot of um, people know that I like a Little Prince so they'll give me a Little Prince uh, book, t-shirt, card. Wow. Yeah. So those are the books that uh, we wish we... So what do you read for inspiration? I don't read cookbooks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Then what I, do you read? I read something that is, is completely nothing to do with cooking. So I look like a uh, architecture book and uh, design, fashion. Uh, yeah, painting, pottery. Uh, yeah, I read something that's nothing to do with cooking. You know, flavors. It's 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 kind of an instinct for us. Yeah. So to pairing with the different flavors, you're looking for some uh, textures, you're looking for some di different dimensions. Mm -hmm. And what you need is not uh, what you get from the cookbooks. Okay, right. That's it.